sir. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Uh, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Mm. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. No. Not one for gastronomic exploration, I see. Wait, if you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter? Would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... Ooh. Now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, You'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. That's why good Master Brock needed an Alpine seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot. That seed you found unlocks Niflheim of all places, a realm as ancient as it is vaguely sticky. Alfheim yet, it's probably best for Tyr to wait for us here. The soldiers we fought in Svartalfheim, those were Enriar? I thought Enriar were just spirits in Valhalla until Ragnarok comes. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole. Activated his forces early as a standing army. Perhaps something he could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. arena if you like. You'll just be fighting the recollections of enemies. They won't be able to harm you. Wait, are those Odin's ravens? The ones we've been destroying all this time? So it would seem. I don't know, but there's definitely something more going on here. I can't read them. They 
seem to like us, though. One hopes. I suppose we should continue to destroy any of Odin's ravens when we find them. I know this sounds weird, but can you tell me again what happens when someone dies? Every living thing has a soul, and every soul has four parts. Form, mind, direction, and luck. Direction steers the souls of giants, dwarves, elves, and animals toward the Lake of Souls in Alfheim. Their hearts may be absorbed back into Alfheim's great light. So that's where Fenrir is? The Lake of Souls? So long as his soul still has its direction, aye, it's well on its way. Ah, there you are. I knew you hadn't forgotten me. As we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure, I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. You can't leave me, God. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of dark elves to get to the light. You interfered in the elf war. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. They seemed better in Alphon. <laughs> Did they now? Alphon. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here. That's where we'll find Grow a Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. See the elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better now. <laughs> Yikes. Thimble winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Thimble winter. Living desert. Huh. It was once full of life, you know. And music. Song of the sand, we called it. Gone now. Another victim of Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. What do you hear? It feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the Dark Elves get on best they can. Oh! 
That razor from above. There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Good eye. Bye, Frost Eyes. Is everything okay? Aye, old friend. Just looting on your chests. We'll be right along. My dad likes loot. Ah, very well. <laughs> Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? I no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, are you the other? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of the Nine Realms. Oh, I didn't know it could do that. Oh, very clever. Yaffa! Brother, these bastards about to explode! he involved. Long ago, Freyr of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. We're the ones who breathe the light. Find your brother. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. I hate Alpha. We'll follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. 
I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. <laughs> Tribute to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, Freyr's. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. Best we move on for now, brother. Don't think we have the right tools for this one. We came in from the top last time. I didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And Tyr, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's the Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves were... ...always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war. Solid Light. Guess some things don't change. No sense in spoiling the surprise. Oh, it's the light. Oh. Ow. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the Elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the Light Elves were born. I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves... Let me try talking to them again. They may... just to let these two do their thing, brother. <laughs> Watch out! 
coming! Speaking of Light Elves... Let me try talking to them again. They may just to let these two do their own brother. Find it! came across on light bridges, but now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. Ah. Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean we can't disfigure some architecture. This way, the shrine awaits. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple. And themselves, by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. The shrine is this way, Kratos. Yeah, he knows. He'd like to be thorough. I see. By all means. Smell awful. Another wreck to the left. <laughs> Anything uh, interesting this way?
Shall we continue? So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred. None more so than the light itself. Aye. The Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. There's more Twilight Stone up there.
What became of Kavazir? Ripped apart by his audience. Well, one member of the audience. Well, Thor. More light elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. Oh there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Tear. Get back. Get it now. Why they keep fighting? The Dark Elves want the souls and the light left alone. But the Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. I'm not our place to say. This is an Elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. made a lot of these light doors. Hmm. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. Let's continue our ascent. Yes. Hard enough, brother. 
It's all in what you bring to it. I suppose I'll leave you to it. Nasty hit! You all right, brother? I suppose I'll leave you to it then. side. Getting the hang of it. I've never seen the lighthouse so much control over the temple. That's on us. They must have anointed a new temple guardian. Svartal Yoffer's counterpart. Dark Dove King. He's in the light now, too.
this mystic doesn't see us. There's Twilight Stone on the ground. I wonder if we could use Twilight Stone against her. We can continue up this way. Here they come. Do what you must. Watch your land. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can throw those back at them! I still can't figure out how they're making light bridges. Look at this statue. These crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. Crystals still make light bridges. Now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? It feels even taller on the inside. I can't believe all this was down here. Ah, the Nornir. Why must they insist on these frustrating trials? You would know better than us, Bubba. I can't remember the last time I visited the Norns. Nor do I wish to try. Where's this lead? They don't make it easy, do they?
And here we go again. Jumbo! <laughs> And here we go. Maybe you can throw those back at them! Whoa. 